Hey everybody, it's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Thank you for stopping in and watching the video. We have a brand new video series for you all today. Right now, let's take a look. It is spring 2020. We are right in the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, epidemic, quarantine, shutdown, whatever you want to call it. There is no school anymore. We're all doing distance learning. There is no spring track right now in the United States. Who knows what's going to happen during the summer. Um, we are kind of shut down. The gym is shut down. There are no athletes in the gym training right now. I'm not doing any in-person uh, throws coaching on the weekends or any in-person group coaching on the weekends. There are no more camps. There are no more weekend clinics. Everything has pretty much come to a standstill. So I figured it was time to unleash a video series that I've had in the back of my head for quite some time. And it's something I think you guys are all going to like. It's something that you guys have always responded really well to. And it's something that we are calling Shots Fired. Get it? It's kind of a pun. Shots fired because I'm going to be taking some shots at some people and some things I don't like in the track world, but also it's like a shot. It's like a shot put. And I figured what better time to do this. We are uh, right now new tripod, new wireless mic system, a lot easier to listen to me in this big empty void of a gym because of the mic. I'm able to move around a lot better, demonstrate a lot more things for you. And I figured why not start today off with firing a quick shot at something that I really, really, really dislike when I see it either on Instagram or on YouTube or I see people demonstrating this at clinics or at seminars. It's this one drill that I always see coaches doing and I absolutely, absolutely hate it. All right, so let me set the stage real quick for you. The other night, I was actually sitting on the couch. My wife and I had just put our kids to bed. We're sitting on the couch. My wife is flipping through Netflix, trying to find something that she wants to watch. And I'm scrolling through Instagram, looking at, you know, whatever's up there. So I'm scrolling through, I see, you know, a video of somebody throwing a shot. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Keep flipping through, keep scrolling. And then I see a bunch of different videos. You can swipe to the left to see a bunch of different videos of different throwing drills that a coach had posted up, something he probably took a while ago. And it looks like it's a college coach. So I'm looking, I'm going, all right, I think I know who this is. And I'm looking through it and it's like, oh, that's a pretty good drill. Swipe to the next one. That's a pretty good drill too. Swipe to the next one. It's a medicine ball drill. Swipe to the next one. And then I let out an audible, oh God. And my wife, her ears perked up and she's like, oh my God, what's, what's wrong? Like she thought maybe I read that somebody had passed away. She thought maybe I read that somebody had like lost their job or somebody's mom or dad was sick. But it was because I saw this drill and I saw this coach teaching his kid how to do this drill. It literally made me let out this ugh. Of a, of, a, of a sound that came out of me. And let me show you what it looks like. Okay, we're in the back of the circle. This is exactly what it looks like. Athlete in the back of the shot circle, hands on their hips. First of all, when do we ever do this in a throw? We never do this. Hands on the hips. And then this is what the athlete starts doing. stepping through the circle. Let me show you again what that looks like. Tell me, tell me if this is what the back of the circle is supposed to look like. We're here. There it is again. Oh, now look, we're facing right down the middle and step. When do we ever do that? When does that ever happen in the back of the throwing circle? Answer, never. We never have our hands on our hips. Whenever standing here like this, and we're never taking little choppy, choppy steps getting through that circle. I cannot stand this drill. Now I can stand here all day long like the old man that I am and be like, eh, get off my lawn, I don't like that drill, that's not good. But let me explain why. So I'm looking for, when I coach, I'm looking for three things in the back of the circle. The first thing I'm looking for is that the athlete, if they're right-handed, is getting their weight onto their left foot. That means in the back of the circle, when we've got the shot up against our neck or the discus out wide, we're coming through and we're actually shifting weight. We're getting weight onto our left foot as we turn out of the back of the circle. This way we can get the foot off the ground. Well, the drill that I just showed you, what are they doing? 
They're keeping their weight right in the middle of their feet the entire time. Not only that, they're actually falling onto their right foot. They're falling onto their right. They're coming this way. So you're not teaching your athlete to keep their weight and get their weight over the left, to shift weight and get onto their left side. That's what we want. We want our athletes to get left. We want them to shift their weight. Think sternum over the foot so you can pick up this foot. What else is that drill teaching them? The drill's teaching them to keep their foot pointed forward. Look at my right foot. Is this what your right foot's supposed to look like in the back of the circle as you're coming around? No, we want a nice long sweep and we want the toe up in the air so you are leading with the inside of your foot. When you come around and out of the back of the circle, we want a nice wide sweep with the inside of that foot. We never want the toe pointed forward and running down the circle this way. That's not how it works. We want toe up sweeping through the circle. So again, that's another reason why I don't like this drill because you're teaching them to keep their toe pointed down and forward. We want the toe up in the air leading with the inside of the right foot. The third and final reason why I'm not a big fan of this drill is more of a personal reason to me. It's something that I have talked about for the past 10 years that I've been doing these videos, which is athletes need to get that idea of a spin out of their head. Because when athletes talk about spinning, they think of figure skaters spinning around on the ice, or they think of ballerina spinning around up on stage. They don't think of it as a drive. They don't think of it as accelerating. They don't think of it as powering down the circle. What they really think of is sort of pirouetting, pivoting, like a basketball player pivoting toward the, the basket. They get the ball and they pivot, and then they shoot. That's not what we're looking for here. In fact, I'm not a huge fan of telling my athletes. I know when I work with coaches, what I tell my coaches is that we want a big, wide sweep out of the back with that right foot. I don't teach my athletes that way because athletes exaggerate movements. If you tell them to make a big, wide circle out of the back, that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna do this and make a big, wide circle. I tell my athletes I want them to sweep and drive. And the sweep and drive turns more into that question mark shape. So it's not like a pizza slice where it's out and down, kind of like the sector looks like a pizza slice where it goes out and down. That's the way that I want to explain it to my throwers because what that will turn into is a wide sweeping drive down the middle. But if you tell your athletes that it's a circle, they're going to make it a circle. They're going to think about spinning, pirouetting, figure skater, spin around, cyclone up in the air. They're not thinking of turning and driving, turning that circular motion into a linear drive. They're thinking about, oh, spin around twice, make two big circles. And all you're doing with this is just reinforcing the fact that they're spinning around in a circle. We don't want that. We want out, around, and then driving, pushing, popping, exploding down that circle instead. So what's a better way? What's a better way that a coach can give a drill to their athlete to explain exactly what they should be doing when they pivot out of the back of the circle? It's real simple, six inch plyo box. Now you don't need to use a metal plyo box. I've seen this done with milk crates. I've seen this done with just wooden blocks. You know, two by fours, two by sixes. People can get creative and make some cool stuff. But all you're gonna do is put this right here outside the circle so it's right off to the left side of their left foot, just outside the circle. And you can see where it's lined up. It's lined up pretty much where they're gonna be driving to get into that power position. So check it out, this is what it looks like. So move it over here a little bit more for my long legs. Boom, position right here. Now from here, we're gonna go through the circle, bang, we're gonna stop on the heel. So the heel is on the box, the toe is in the air, 
Upper body looks pretty solid. I'm up on the ball of my left foot. And from here, now we can go through the circle. Reset, drill it again. Turn, in, out, stop, drive, boom, boom, through the circle. One more time. In, out, heel, toe is up, drive, boom, boom, through the circle. Much more betterist, okay? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for drills that are actually going to mimic what they do in the circle. By teaching your athletes this, they understand, keep the toe up in the air. For my running coaches out there, dorsiflexion, I think? Toe up in the air, leading with the inside of the foot as we sweep through the circle. We get all of our weight on the left. If the weight's not on the left, you're going to move the box. We don't want to do that. So if all the weight stays on the left, now you're on the box. You're not sliding the box. So it teaches them a lot of really, really good habits. All right, that's gonna do it from here. I hope you guys are all enjoying the videos and enjoying what we have going on here during this time of year. Check us out, we're putting out a new video every single day here, Monday through Friday on YouTube, lifting videos as well as throwing videos. Guys, leave me a comment right down below in the comment section. Let me know some things that drive you crazy in the track and field world. Let me know some drills or let me know some things that you just are not fond of when it comes to throwing and throws coaching. I'd love to hear, but check it out every single Wednesday for the next few weeks. We're going to be adding to this playlist the Shots Fired playlist. Again, dad joke, dad joke extraordinaire. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Just click that little subscribe button down below and make sure to click the bell notification as well to get all of our videos when they come out. Thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully we can get back outside, do some coaching and do some throwing very soon. Until then, make sure to keep checking back into this channel for daily updates to help you become better throwers during this really difficult time.